That's what I'm talking about, Ike EOM. What was the urgency of selling 150 million shares or 150 million dollars worth of shares last week or so um, when they could have taken advantage of a massive price volatility and sold all 43 million to raise close to four to 10 billion during the squeeze? But even if they just wait till it goes to 15 or 20 dollars, like there's no number that we know they could have, like we know they could have sold these shares for more money had they wanted to. And the only thing them selling those shares did, the only thing it accomplished was lowering the price. It didn't give them more liquidity. It didn't make them healthier as a company. It didn't make their numbers look any better. The only thing it did was lower the AMC stock price. So fuck all of you who are trying to tell me I'm crazy for saying this. I'm trying to look out for you people and you guys can't help but attack me because you're so desperate for confirmation bias and I hate that. Tell the fucking truth. It's the way we win. If you aren't willing to tell the truth, we cannot win. Matt Carter says, fuck the suits. God pill is the only way. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. That's some real shit right there. That's a real one right there, people. Come sign the petitions. Go to the description of the video. Sign the petitions to recall and recount the AMC and GME vote. The, the, the movement of the AMC vote in July and the deadline of the June 2nd is saying anyone that buys stock up until June 2nd will be able to vote on the July thing. So whether they ask for 500 million shares or 100 million shares, they're going to ask for more dilution and they're trying to get their company back from you people. They don't like when you guys own their company. They don't like that you guys have the ability to fire them if they give themselves a fat bonus. They don't like none of it. And so they're trying to convince you guys in a pleasant way to give back their company to them. And I'm trying to save you from it. I'm trying. 